In the previous video, we have started implementing the adjacency graph. Now what is left is to create an HTAR algorithm that will be able to traverse our graph and find us the path on this graph. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to scripts and we will want to open the grid search class. So let's open it up. Great. Here we have the HTAR search algorithm implementation. What we are going to do is we are going to select this from the public statement before the a star search we are going to slide down because we will need also to get the method get close its vertex manhattan distance and generate path let's copy all of those by selecting the last position and holding shift and selecting all of those Control c and let's go back to unity great we are going to open our ai uh, folder in the scripts and open up the adjacency graph since we will want to copy those methods into our adjacency graph so let's open the adjacency graph great i'm going to paste those copied methods at the end of our script so let's paste them and there will be some errors here but it's better than writing the a star search from scratch so what we will need to do is instead of uh, modify the a star search method so instead of public static list of points, we are going to return a list of vector 3. So this will be our, our list of positions. Next, we are going to pass instead of grid adjacency graph. Let's call it graph. Control RR to modify this grid to graph. So it will modify the grid to graph in all of the statements. Next. Next, we will pass vector3 instead of a point. So vector3 start position and vector3 end position instead of the point. And we are going to delete this last statement bool is agent. Now we have some errors. So let's go down to the path instead of point to vector3. Great. Because the point was the previous structure that we have used on our grid graph. Now we will need to use the, the vertex, the, pos uh, the vertex uh, class to uh, do the job of it. What we are going to do is we are going to create a vertices of our start and end points. So let's go create vertex start equals graph dot get vertex at, and we are going to pass the start position, and we are going to do the same with the vertex. And, and we are going to call graph dot get vertex at and we are going to pass the end position so we need to be sure that we have those in our graph uh, because uh, else we are going to get the null values next we are going to modify the positions to check instead of using point we are going to use vertex great now what we are going to have is uh, actually, I think we can modify all the points. So Control F on the point, and you should see this additional window. Extend it using this arrow. Instead of point, we are going to use vertex. Make sure that you type it exactly as the name of the class is, and we are going to use this uh, second icon near the vertex typing field, and we are going to replace all. And you should have 27 occurrences replaced. Great. So we should have those all those points changed to our vertex. Great. Now let's slide down because our position is to check, add, and we have start position. Instead of this, we want to add the start when it is start position. And we will want to use end because start position and end positions are vector threes that we have passed here. And start and end are the vertices. Great. We have this generate path. We will go back to it. Let's now go down to our for each loop and we have our vertex neighbor in graph and instead of get adjacent cells we are going to get get connected vertices to and we will pass to it current since current is our current vertex great now we are going to get new uh, float new cost and we are going to add one since we do not have costs of our road so we are not calculating the cost of our road Great. Now we have the float priority equals new cost plus Manhattan's distance, and this should be it. 
Then we have those generate path and Manhattan distance that are uh, throwing an error. So instead we are going to slide down and find the get closest vertex is works, then Manhattan distance. And what we are going to do here is change the capital X to small x and capital Y to small z value. And we will need to pass here actually the uh, vector threes. Actually, we have vertex. Okay, so let's use the vertex. So let's type position dot x. Let's copy this position dot and place it after the first dot of the vertex dot and position and end position dot position dot z. Great. And I can see that our uh, changing the name changed the name of this point to vertex. So we are going to change it. So let's control R R to rename it. Let's pass to it current position or maybe position simply. Okay, great. So this is the end position and the position that we are currently on and we are calculating the Manhattan's distance of it. Next, we will need to go to generate path. And here we had some issues that we are returning the list of vertices, but instead we want to return a list of vector three. So let's uh, return a list of vector three. And what we are going to modify here is we are going to simply add to our path. So our path needs to also be of type list vector three and equals new list of vector three. And we are going to pass to it path dot add in the while statement parent dot position. And that's it. So now let's slide up and do we still have some issues to the Manhattan's distance. We need to add the end in the A star method because end is the vertex instead of vector three and neighbor is also a vertex. So our Manhattan distance can calculate the correct positions based on the position of each vertex. Okay, great. So this should be all. Uh, keep in mind that the, all those uh, scripts should be available on GitHub. So if you have any errors, you can go to GitHub repository and check the scripts to compare them to your own scripts. Okay, great. We have our adjacency graph ready. So in the next video, we will create our in our AI di director the logic to create our graph and visualize it so you can see the results. So see you in the next video.